Good morning everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button. Please do subscribe. Um, Alexa, good morning. Good morning. It's the weekend, so two days off for lots of you. If that seems like forever, I can help. Just say, I'm bored. Or, our partner Disney Plus has loads of great movies and shows to help you while away the time. To find out more, ask me. Open the Disney Plus experience. So good morning guys, I hope everyone is having a great weekend so far. The sun's out here in Rochester, Kent, where I live. Uh, I don't know what it's like in Chatham, where my mother is, but it's, you know, the sun's out here. So Alexa, what's the time please? Good morning, Crystal. The time is 9, 10 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Saturday the 13th of April. Alexa, what's the weather outlook? Right now in Rochester, it's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast is cloudy skies with a high of 19 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Alexa... Whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include French teacher Brigitte Macron, South Korean singer Zion.tnet, Russian chess player and activist Gary Kasparov, French fashion house Chanel, and American television, film, and voice actor Ron Perlman. Right, like I said, good morning. I hope your weekend's going great. Um, so... I've woken up to the news that there's been mass stabbings in Sydney, Australia. Mass stabbings in Sydney, Australia. Came up on my Samsung phone this morning. The world is a dangerous, nasty place at the moment, isn't it? So guys, six o'clock this morning, there was noise from upstairs, six o'clock this morning, about quarter to six actually. But then I can understand it because the mornings are lighter. And it, you know, because it does, it makes you get up early, the sun shining through the window. And um, yeah, so six o'clock, there was some running across the ceiling and I just laid down, I stayed in my bed. You could hear people going out early in the morning, about six and half past six. And I just led down to about ten to eight. So I got up at ten to eight this morning and um, I wasn't going to go out to the co-op. I wasn't. I was going to stay indoors and not go out to the co-op. Um, but I thought, fuck it. Um... I want to go out. I want to go out and I want to, you know, get some fresh air. Um, so I got my rubbish together. You know, you get your rubbish, empty the cat litter trays, clean up the mess. Um, I've got some guys coming out to replace my alarms on Monday, first thing Monday. So I was getting rid of a lot of rubbish in my flat so they can get to the alarm. Um, I'm happy with my life, I'm happy with my flat, I'm happy with where I live. I don't get jealous because I don't judge myself up against other people. I don't, I don't, I'm a person in my own right, I've got my own life and, and how I live is my business. I don't judge other people, I don't know what other people got, I'm not interested, I'm happy with what I've got and, and my life. Right, so I don't get jealous. I don't get jealous of people with cars. I can't drive. I would. I, I so therefore I I I could a car is, is no use to me anyway. So I went out of my flat on my own and um, went down the stairs and somebody had left a whisper wrapper outside the lift. A whisper wrapper. My nan. My nan. Kath used to live with my mum and dad at Victoria Road and then they my mum and my mum and dad 
had to put my gran into a care home in Birchington on Sea. So my nan, Kath, died at the age of 92, 92, in a care home in Birchington on Sea. Right? And my nan, Kath, liked whisper bars. And how do I know that? Because my mum told me. Right? So that reminded me of my nan who died ages ago. Ages and ages ago. So I walked past the empty whisper wrapper and then I went into where the post is. There was still that parcel sticking out of its number one's box. Package sticking out the box. I left it where it was. Uh, my mum had given me some money when I went to see her. Jennifer had given me some money. I'm not Jennifer. Anyone that's seen uh, pictures of my mum knows she, she's uh, getting all hunched over. My mum's hunched over. My mum is nearly 80 and she doesn't go out shopping. She's got problems with mobility. She doesn't go out shopping. She doesn't go to the local shop. Her neighbour sometimes gets her food and she sometimes has deliveries. But my mum does not, she's not able to walk up the road into the co-op and get shopping. At the moment, she gets help with that. And I'm not an elderly lady of 80. So someone had left a receipt on the floor. I don't know whether it was on purpose, right? Or what? So someone had a pizza last night, a fiery pizza, so the receipt was left on the floor. So I left it where it was. It had the person's mobile phone number on it. I left it where it was. I didn't drop it and it's nothing to do with me. So I walked up Corey's Road to the co-op and um, I grabbed a black basket. Kim was in the co-op, she was near the stock, she was crouched down near the stock and I just left Kim to it, I left her to what she was doing, I don't interfere, when someone's working I don't go up to them, I let them do their job. So I went round um, getting items from the shop, there was an old lady dressed in my mother's cardigan that she gave to me, red ribbed cardigan and she's given that to me some months ago and it's in my flat somewhere I don't wear it so there was a, you know my mum my mum has got bits of hair missing she's got alopecia so the lady in question that had the red ribbed cardigan on had a head full of hair the old lady had a head full of hair And uh, it looked like my mum hunched over, but with hair, a head full of hair. So I'm going to show you what I got from the co-op. We got some Nescafe latte. We got a meal deal, and this looked quite nice, this did. So we've got some Innocent Smooth Orange Juice. That was the drink. The main was a hand-finished hot smoked salmon and baby potato salad. Got a bit of lemon in there as well. Could only see one of those too, but I do like my salmon because fish, fish is good for you. We've got um, thin sliced chicken, thin sliced ham. The yuzus have gone back up to one pat and forty. So we've got strawberry yuzu, banana yuzu, chocolate yuzu. Pringles, sour cream and onion. Jelly babies. The last part of the main for the meal deal was the eggs and mayo mustard. 
So you get the main, you get the snack, which is the eggs and the mayo and mustard, and the drink, which was the uh, orange. I thought I got picked up chicken tikka masala. So I've gone and picked up vegetable masala. Four pounds vegetable masala, which you can microwave. Medium spiced tomato curry with chickpeas and red pepper topped with a spiced cauliflower and potato garnish. I'm a meat eater. There's no rice. So what, what, what we're going to do is we've got rice. My mistake. When I see masala, I automatically think it's chicken masala. So it's vegetable masala. So we've got some rice. And I'm a meat eater. I'm not a vegetarian. So we've got some stewed steak and gravy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two meals out of this. So we're going to have some of the stewed steak with some rice and we're going to have mix it with the vegetable masala. I am not a vegetarian and I'm the first to admit that. I'm not a vegetarian. I couldn't eat, with, eat live without meat. Not at all. And we've got some reduced flowers. We've got some rose and lily flowers rose and lilies which have been reduced from six pounds to 348 and they smell lovely so i've got myself some flowers we've got take a break magazine because i live by myself i've got umpteen hours by myself so we've got a magazine to read take a break and we've got the daily mail and the way they're carrying on, making me think I'm an old hunched over lady, well, I'm going to spend the rest of my life by myself. So I might as well get used to it. Daily Mail, £1.50. Saturday's Daily Mail. And they're scraping the chairs on the ceiling and I'm not going up there. Free £3 shop bets on the Grand National with Paddy Power. Raina, I'll quit if I am found guilty, but she won't go now, despite telling Tories they should resign. And Liz Truss, I think she was the last one the Queen shook hands with, wasn't she? Liz Truss, the book everyone's talking about. Liz Truss, living in Downing Street was like being a prisoner in a soulless cage with fleas. Really? Really? Excuse the dog barking, but you're going to get that anyway. You're going to get dogs barking wherever you are. Trying to make me feel like a hunched over old lady. I'm not going out anywhere today. As you know, I've got a stalker. And they make every day of my life a misery and I don't feel safe outside so I'm not going out anywhere today. And I'm not going to get cross. The whole, the, whole, the whole point of their bullying victimisation is that when he brings his kids upstairs every second weekend, they bully, they try and make me cross so that I look like my mad in quotes mother and I don't believe all the things she's saying is madness no why does she keep saying she's Jennifer because they're trying to make out I'm an old lady and when my son comes down to visit me Jennifer isn't his mother I'm his mother So when I came out of the co-op, because I, I, I write a book, I'm writing a book every day of my life, diary of what, the, what happens in the co-op down the street when I go into shops everywhere. 
right? I don't know. The paper is full of shit. It is absolutely full of shit. Hasn't Liz Trust got enough money without what a book? There's people starving out there, you know. I, 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 I don't know what's going on with the newspapers at all. But we all know that Princess Diana wrote a book. She did the Panorama interview with Martin Bashir with all that mascara and eyeliner, all black. And then she had numerous books, didn't she, Diana? Andrew Morton wrote a book about Diana. She, she had numerous interviews and numerous books. None of it made her happy. No, because people were using her and making money out of her. That's what they were doing. They were using Princess Diana to make money. And Diana was unhappy and when she goes and finds happiness, her life is cut short. So when I came out of the co-op, I didn't talk, have a conversation with Kim. I heard her laugh. She laughed several times. She said, how are you, love, to me? And I went, I'm okay, how are you? And then she went out to have a fag break, you know, because Kim smokes. And out came the hunched up old lady with the red cardigan, who had two dogs strapped to the co-op. And she, she started talking to Kim, the hunched over old lady with the cardigan. And then I walked past and Kim went, see you later. See you later. And then as I was coming down, the lady that had the pizzas last night, who was married to an extremely large man with a bald head, had a puma top on. Right, so I've still got some money to go and get the newspaper tomorrow because I do like to read the Sunday newspaper you see King Charles has had the, mo the money's been changed over to King Charles's head but it's not in circulation yet because I'm still getting a notice with the Queen's head on two years after she died nearly two years isn't it still got the Queen's head on the notes there's still the Queen's logo on the Wake Rose band. The, 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 the previous Prince of Wales's feathers with the Queen of England on the Wake Rose lorries. Nothing's been changed over properly. Some of the stamps have got King Charles's head on. I think all of them should have his head on now. And beware of fake stamps from China. There's fake stamps in circulation. Fake postage stamps and people are getting five pound bills because their stamp is counterfeit. So the same old, same old, same old that's been going on since this lady in my women's refuge told me to write a diary, which was in 2006. And I was put in a women's refuge in Gloucestershire for domestic violence. Not my mother, Jennifer. And all the staff were calling me Jenny when my name wasn't Jennifer. And they're all going to come unstuck because it's fraud, isn't it? Pretending someone's somebody else is fraud. And the money they've been making is mine. So they're not only committed fraud, they've been squandering my money. And I'm not giving up fighting for justice either. I'm going to expose these con artists. I'm not the con artist. I'm going to expose these con artists. Take my camera out everywhere with me. And if they want to shout dog and things out the window, everyone's going to see it all over the place. 
because the camera picks up what they're saying. It's illegal to put uh, <laughs> spyware in somebody's flat, right? It's not illegal to go outside with a camera, but it is to go inside someone's property and plant listening and cameras into their flat or wherever they're going to be and be whatever. Out there is a public place and I know that when I'm outside there's cameras, there's security cameras outside the court, outside costas, down the street. So you can't complain about a camera in a public place. There's the dog barking. So I've been in the court this morning and there was a woman all hunched over like my mother Jennifer. And that, this is why my mum rings up the phone and she says, this is your mother, Jennifer, speaking because they are pretending I'm Jennifer and they're making money out of it and they owe that all back to me since 2008 when my dad swapped me with my mother and abused me. And I'm going to fight to the very end 